We all love a delicious Caesar salad at our favorite restaurants and I'm here to provide a quick spin to the recipe and make the dressing with a light yogurt sauce. So first let's get started with our plate of Caesar salad by making some warm home-baked croutons. So for the crouton you'll need a baguette. Now I'm just going to roughly chop this up into one or one and a half inch cubes or dice and I'm making enough for two so this should be enough but of course it's your salad so you can make as many croutons as you want. This is just the recommended amount. Okay so that's ready it's already looking beautiful. Let's put that on the side. So now into a small bowl or ramekin measure out a bit of butter that's about a tablespoon and let's microwave this to lightly melt it. So melt your butter and then season it with salt and pepper. Give it a quick whirl. Add the bread onto a bowl and then drizzle that butter over the top. Now toss and combine. There you go. So this is going to go in an oven at 400 for about 20 minutes. So traditionally Caesar dressing contains anchovies and eggs. We're going to replace all that with yogurt and it's still going to taste amazing. So let's see how we're going to do that. So first in this bowl here measure about half a cup of Greek yogurt. Then to this add 2 tablespoons of olive oil. Then 2 tablespoons of lemon juice. The lemon juice will really help to make the sauce light and fresh while the olive oil will really give it that great shine. Next we're going to add about a teaspoon of Worcester sauce and then a nice tablespoon of Dijon. Next one clove of minced garlic. And now finally it's time for our cheese. The traditional option would be to go with parmesan but you can also use grana padano if you like. So let's grate that really finely. Now that's perfectly finely grated. Add all of that in there. Now this looks great already but let's bring it all together. So after whipping, you should have a dressing that looks a bit like that. So since this is going to be a chicken Caesar, let's prepare our chicken and start prepping the bacon at the same time. So put the cling film on your cutting board and tear, so you have your first layer, then tear a second layer that's just as big, but then put that on the side. Now grab your chicken breast just like that, put it down the center and then just cover it with the second layer. And now grab a meat tenderizer or a heavy object such as this wooden rolling pin here and just lightly pack the chicken out. Now take this apart. So I'm just going to slice this right down the middle at a diagonal. Now season this with salt, pepper. Now this is a really basic recipe for grilled chicken. Uh, this recipe should also be on my website which I'll link down below. We're going to lightly oil the chicken and just spread this out. So it took about 30 minutes but look at those perfectly crispy croutons. Just put that aside for them to cool down. But of course I have to steal one crouton. You have to. So our pan is hot. Let's add in our chicken. 
Now that's what you want to hear when your chicken starts to sear. Now see from the other side, right on the pan. Now remember, the chicken will tell you when it's ready to be flipped, so don't force it. Let's test it out. So this chicken released right away without much force, which means it's ready to be flipped. And look at those beautiful grill marks. Now while that chicken is cooking, I'm gonna add my bacon in there as well. So here we go guys, we have everything we need to make our Caesar. Here's our homemade yogurt dressing, juicy chicken breast, crispy bacon, Parmesan cheese, crispy, home-baked croutons, just look at that. And we have some Boston leaf lettuce here. It's been washed and dried. So let's get on with it, shall we? So grab a large bowl, kind of like this, add your lettuce in there. And for this amount of lettuce, this can be enough for two, if you're having like a side or one large personal size, like a dinner style. So then one ladle full is more than enough to one and a half, because I do like some sauce, but one is enough. And this size is about two tablespoons or one and a half tablespoons. And now grab a spatula. We don't want to bruise or damage those lettuce leaves. So with the spatula here, just lightly toss and mix that dressing all over that lettuce. And if you've noticed, we've left those lettuce leaves whole. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make a grand statement on your plate. So we don't wanna make our lettuce swim with all the dressing, we want it to be just enough. So keep mixing, this looks about right. And now, Let's start plating. So now to plate this delicately, take some of those lettuce leaves and scatter it around on that plate. And if you've noticed, I'm making a heavier base on the left side compared to this side. And that's because I'm gonna lean the chicken on one of the sides. So we need that platform place right there. Wing it out. Then we have our bacon, nice, generous pieces. Scatter those croutons around the plate. And now finally, top this all off with some Parmesan cheese. And there you have it. That's my perfect homemade Caesar salad. All right, so that's it for now. I really hope all of you enjoyed this quick Caesar salad recipe with a yogurt Caesar dressing. And of course, if all of you want me to make a traditional Caesar salad, I'll be more than happy to. In fact, I'm planning to make one in the coming few weeks. All right, that's it guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Be sure to hit subscribe, hit that bell icon, and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.